glass sheets as large as 96 by 144 inches enter the load end of the coating line. Here the glass is carefully washed with special deionized water and passed through a high pressure air dryer to ensure the cleanest surface as possible. The glass then enters the 420 foot long coating line. The first step is the vacuum chamber where the glass goes from regular atmospheric pressure down to an extremely low pressure. Each vacuum chamber works successively to gradually reduce pressure through which the glass travels. Only in this environment can plasma form. Next, the glass enters the heart of the coating line. Specially formulated coatings are deposited onto the glass in a process called magnetron sputtering. Each cathode chamber has a high voltage magnetron. When activated, it interacts with an inert gas that enters into the chamber, forming a plasma. The positively charged ions from the plasma are attracted to the coating material, bombarding it and dislodging individual atoms. These atoms are applied evenly to the glass surface, producing a thin film. For patented low maintenance neat coating, a sputter up process is employed. This means the titanium based target is located below the glass pane, providing an even layer to the outside glass surface. For regular low E coatings, a sputter down method puts the silver coating on the top side surface of the pane. Our coating line involves as many as 67 cathodes made for different combinations of coating materials in a single pass. From the comparatively simple to the more complex. However, no matter how many layers are applied, our complete coating stack is no thicker than 1 10,000th the thickness of a human hair. Upon exit, sophisticated cameras and instruments monitor each glass pane for potential defects. In the control room, technicians observe both the glass and the entire coating line. 